Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see this is the long awaited video of the Walt Disney World haul. And these are some of my favourite videos to actually watch on YouTube and I know a lot of people have said like I can't wait for your video so I thought I'd get on and film it straight away. I'm filming this three days after we've actually landed back from Orlando. And I kind of wanted to film it because I just have Disney everywhere like it's like Disney threw up all over the floor so I need to kind of film it so I can get it all away and and also because I really want to show you guys what I got because I absolutely love showing you Disney merchandise and you guys love watching it so before I get started as usual I'll tell you what I'm wearing is you know what Disney World this top I actually showed you guys on Instagram if you don't follow me it is at Disney Jamie D but this was from Forever 21 I got it in Orlando and I showed you loads of other stuff from Forever 21 as well because they had really good stuff out there so I'll show you this top it's a crop top and I've got shorts on with it so you've got Mickey and yeah it's just a crop top like that okay so let's get started so I've got all the bags down here by the side of me and I'm just gonna pull out whatever I pull out and just go through it that way because there's just a lot of stuff and it's everywhere. So first up, because these are on the top, I'm going to show you my Alex and Annie bracelets that I got. So if you follow me on Instagram, I did post the two that I already own, which are the Epcot ones and the Walt Disney World one. And they're, they're the old ones. They're the ones that I wanted before the new ones came out. So first up is this one which is the animal kingdom 20th anniversary one and it has a number 20 on it so it's like a limited edition one just for this year for the 20th anniversary and i thought that was really cool i'll show you these up close because i know they're a bit hard to see from far away and i got this in the bronze color because silver is my favorite color to have but i have all the other ones i bought with silver and i only have one bronze one which is my walt disney world one because i could only get it in that color at the time because they were discontinuing it so i got this one in bronze the next one i got is a silver one and it's pale blue and it's got a tiara on the top and it says a dream is a wish your heart makes and i'll show you this one up close this is obviously a quote from cinderella and i liked this one because i didn't have a quote one those two first and then I went into the new Disney style store in Disney Springs so if you haven't heard of it look it up on Instagram because it is insane it's got everything like it's got clothes it's got accessories it has got everything you need and I heard they had the new carousel one it has a little horse on it for the carousel and also says I live in fantasy land so I went there and I was looking for it and I went to the ever after shop too and I looked for it there couldn't find it in either store and sold out everywhere so I was like, I'm just going to have one quick look around the store and see if I can find it. There's literally in that store, Alex and Annie everywhere. Like, they're not, like, behind counters or anything. Like, you can literally pick them up and look through them. There's so many in that store. So I was literally going through all of them, like, literally like this. And then I found, I didn't find that one, but I found this one. I found this one. Now let's try and zoom this one in before I talk about it. the one which is in the same collection as the I Live in Fantasyland one but I found the Alice in Wonderland one which is we're all mad here so as you saw it says we're all mad here and it's got the Cheshire cat smile and it's got like a lilac -y purple background and it also comes with the teapot like the like the teapots in the um, Magic Kingdom where you can spin around on them which is like one of my favorite things to do and these came as a two they came together so so the individual one so if you bought it individually I think it was like $45 and they do range in price depending on which one you wanted. But I found this one hidden in the Disney Star Store. There was no other ones there. There was no other rare ones. And I was like, I, I'm just going to get it. Like, there was no price on it. I didn't know how much it was. I was just like, do you know what? I'm just going to get it. So I got it. And these two together, I think it came to like $86. So it is the price of having buying two together. So it's, it is very pricey. And I was a bit like, whoa, like, should I have bought that? It felt a bit bad. But... I wanted it, I love Alex and Annie, I'm obsessed with the brand, I'm obsessed with the Disney ones and now that I've got six they look so good together and it's just my favourite accessory to wear in Disney World. So that is it for Alex and Annie, now I'm going to tackle everything else. Guys look at this bag, I'm in heaven. So I posted a load of these new Loungefly bags on my Instagram the first weekend I got there and you guys went mental for them, like the comments I got, the messages people asked me where I could get these from so this one in particular is the one I chose it's obviously all white and it's got Mickey Mouse in circles all over the bag just like chilling he's like sitting in the circles the circles are yellow black and red and obviously it says Disney Lounge Fly here 
and there was a Marie one to choose from, a Bambi one, a Villains, a Alice in Wonderland one, there were so many lounge fly bags and I got this one from Box Lunch, this is an exclusive for Box Lunch gifts so you can't actually get this in the parks anywhere, a lot of the other ones I did see in the parks but this one you can't, you can only get this at Box Lunch, it cost me $60, a lot of the ones I saw in Walt Disney World were $65 I think they were, so it was a little bit cheaper and I really love Box Lunch, I love what they stand for, I so this one I wore to the parks quite a lot, it's got leather straps, it's like a leather material so if you've got anything on it you could just wipe it off you can adjust the straps as well just there and what i didn't realize with this one the inside is beautiful this is the inside of the bag it matches my top which is really cool so it's just yellow and it's got mickey mouse inside there as well and i took this one to the parks the only thing i'd say with this is it is quite heavy when you have everything in your bag like when i had my camera when i had all the other equipment i needed in there it was a little bit heavy but other than that i adore it and next up is my ears that i bought i wanted to wear the new ones but i thought nope i'm going to show you them first so first up, the new ears I bought were these. Obviously, as you can tell, these are aerial inspired ears and they've got pearls on them. They've got this shell bit here, which is a bit sparkly and they've got the flower in the middle and like this bit's a bit shiny as well. Like the material's really good. I was gonna get handmade ones, but I'm so glad I waited and got the Walt Disney World ones. I also heard that you can get these in Paris now as well. These were the ears that I wanted for ages and they are these rose gold ones. So everyone knows that everyone was so mad about these when these first came out, they sold out for ages, and then they came back and then everyone had them. But when I went to Disney Springs, they didn't actually have these in the world of Disney anywhere, and I don't think I remember seeing them in Disney style, but I got these in Animal Kingdom, and I'm in love, like look how sparkly they are. Oh, it's making me go out of focus. I really, really like these, these are one of my favorite ones, and I like the bow on them, I like the bow that's, it's a little bit different, it's a bit iridescent, and, yeah, like I just love the way these look and I loved wearing them in the parks. Again, these ones were $25. They're all the same price in Disney World. Then the next pair I got were the Millennial Pink Ears. Whoa, okay, so when I got there, I couldn't find these anywhere. Like they were sold out and look who found them. I was in Disney Springs and I was in the Disney Star Store, obviously, and I I saw them and I was like, I need them, I need them. I didn't even like them that much before I saw them. I was like, mm, I might get them, might not. But mm, I got them, obviously. The Millennial Pink stuff has gone mad. Like in Amaret's Patisserie, I had the Millennial Pink drink with the chocolate Millennial ears on the top, which was awesome. I loved that. There's Millennial Pink sweets. There's Millennial Pink spirit jerseys. There is just everything Millennial Pink. They've gone mad. And my magic band was a Millennial Pink, and I flipping loved that. That was like the best thing ever. Right, that was the stuff that didn't fit in this bag. Let's tackle this bag first. Oh my god, I just nearly locked my camera over getting all this stuff out the bag so who can go to Walt Disney World and not pick up any snacks not me so this is what I got I picked up the confetti popcorn which I've never had before the churro popcorn which I've also never had before because I put that in my giveaway on Instagram last year and the chocolate with caramel sea salt popcorn and I've also never had this one either. But I have to say, I've got this one and the confetti one for my friends at work. I'm obviously not gonna eat this much popcorn by myself. These are from the Main Street Bakery in Walt Disney World. And I'll see if I can find the price. These are all $6.99. I might put this here so it's easier to get stuff out of it. So next I picked up this mug. And you know, like I have all these mugs and I don't use them, but this is a special mug because the picture on this mug is actually one of my favourite, favourite, favourite pictures of all time. I actually have it in a big size picture, I have it in a small postcard size picture, and now I have it on the mug. And basically what it says is vision, and it says it's kind of fun to do the impossible Walt Disney. And this is the picture. As you can see from that picture, I it's just amazing like that there is where the castle stands now and you can see there was nothing there before and that was his vision like oh makes me want to cry but that is like my favorite favorite inspiring quote so this was 12.99 which is so reasonable for a disney mug and i just had to have it okay so this next purchase i absolutely loved i fell in love with it i am obsessed with it 
and it is this oh look at this backpack look how cute it is this backpack this is from Walt Disney World obviously it's got Mickey on it I think it was $50 and I got it for $15 so that is pretty awesome and I've never seen it anywhere else I don't know if it's from Shanghai I don't know where it was from but I got it in the character warehouse and I took this round Hollywood Studios on one of my last park days and it's so lightweight I cannot tell you like it's amazing for parks and you literally just pop this at the top and it gives it that really cute satchel look so I'll puff it out and I'll show you what it looks like but yeah that is kind of what it looks like and it kind of goes in at the side there and I did on my Instagram story with poll to see if anyone would want me to pick them up one to put in my Walt Disney World giveaway everyone basically said yes so guess what your girl did? She put it in the giveaway. Okay, so if any of you know me or if any of you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that I'm kind of obsessed with Vinylmations. Disney don't actually make Vinylmations anymore that I know of. Like, I don't really ever see them around the parks anymore, which is so upsetting because when they first came out, which may have been like six, seven years ago, I used to go to the parks and I was like, got to get all of the series, I need to buy all of them, I need the chaser. I just spent a lot of money on Vinylmations and this behind me here is filled with Vinylmations. But I was in the outlet store and I found some Vinylmations, so I got them. Normally they're $12.99 and these ones were $6.99. But the first one I picked up was this one. And oh my god, they had a lot of Shanghai stuff in the outlets, by the way. Shanghai Mickey, Shanghai Stamps, Shanghai Notebook, Shanghai everything. So this is the Shanghai one, and it came with a Mickey already on the top, so that you knew you were getting Mickey. But actually, the ones that are normally with two are normally $24.99. So this was probably a lot cheaper than if it was if you were to actually buy this in Shanghai. So I picked up this and it had a Mickey on the top already. Obviously Mickey's Shanghai opening outfit, you could get a plush of him that looked like that. The next one I got was between these guys on the back. So I'll show you what ones I could have got and which one I actually got. It's a blind box, I don't know which one I was gonna get and that was the options on the back. And the one I got was, I think this one is Chip because of the noses. So it's the one with the little black nose. So I think this one is Chip from Chip and Dale. He's got his cute um, Shanghai opening outfit on. And I was happy with this one. So, you know, all's good for 6 99 I really like this one because his ears are clear. Like he's got his tiny little ears at the top, but then he's got like confetti in the clear bit, which is really cute and a good detail. And if you don't really know about Vinylmations, basically, you get these boxes, there's like different characters on the back that you can choose and you don't know which one you're going to get. And I love that idea, a bit like Animator Littles, but way cooler. And they're designed by different artists. They used to do different series, like Park series, Cutesa series, Toy Story Pixar series. They did a lot of series and they're awesome, they look great in pictures and I just loved collecting them and I wish Disney still did them. I got another 3 inch Vinylmation and this was from the outlets also, I don't know how much this was but it was on sale but originally it was 12 95 and this was from Return of Classics Movieland series. So, so these are limited release, they show the ones on the back you could get and then there's a Mystery Chaser one that you can get. We only actually have one Mystery Chaser out of the whole collection that I've got but I will show you the ones that I could have got in this. On, which actually isn't too bad compared to some of them when I actually look some of them are really tragic but I don't even think I've seen the film Tron don't judge so the next thing I'm going to show you I actually wanted to get last year and I couldn't find them anywhere last whether they sold out I don't know but they were back in this year and I put it on Instagram I showed you guys on Instagram the collection and you went wild for it. You absolutely loved it and too right because it's amazing. It is this, it is the notebook that looked like old video cassettes. So if you're born in like the 90s, 80s, any time before that, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're born in the millennial, then you probably wouldn't have had videos, I think. I think DVDs might have started then. But this is what they used to look like. This is literally how the video cassette looked at the time. And they had all the films. If you want to see what films they had, go to my Instagram because I've posted it all there. I've got this one, which is the Beauty and the Beast one, which is one of my favourite films. And I'll show you this one up close. On 
the back as well it has exactly what was written on the back of the video player and it has the pictures like they do where they show you the film and this was 15.99 so it's a little bit steep in price they but it's just something cool it's something different and this is the cool bit about it inside when you open it it has this so it is literally as if you are getting your cassette out to play it on the tv so it has the cassette there and on the back it has what it would look like on the back so inside there is squares on one side and there is lines on the other side and you have a little lumiere in the corner and i actually wanted to pick up just all of these but i don't need all of them but i wanted all of them i do have another one coming for my birthday that my boyfriend got me when we we're on holiday so you'll have to stay tuned for that when i have my birthday in september to see which one i pick the next thing is another thing from shanghai which i also got at the outlets and this is the grand opening umbrella and i got this in the outlet store for five dollars 99 there was another one which was white and it had different mickeys through the years i think that was 3.99 it was a bit cheaper than this one but i absolutely love the design on this one and you've got all the characters on it as well so it's one of these ones where you literally pop it up but it says shanghai disney resort on the middle there and the funny fact about this is it rained a lot in Florida the last week we were there. I took this to Hollywood Studios with me. I watched One Man's Dream, which was the story about Walt in Hollywood Studios. I left this on the floor and it disappeared. And honestly, I cannot tell you the sadness and the mood I was in after I lost this. If you follow me on Instagram, I think I mentioned it. And I was just really upset. And then I went on Toy Story Mania and I got over it. Anyways, they didn't have any more in the outlet. So I just thought, that's it. It's a goner. I'm not going to have it. Then my mum went to guest relations at the end of the day. Ta-da! They had it. Somehow they had it. Somehow someone handed it in. Always, always, if you lose something in Walt Disney World, go to Lost and Found or go to guest relations because you never know it might be in there. This is it open. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I'll try and spin it around so that you can. Super cute. Super Disney. Just living my best Disney life. The next thing I'm going to show you is from Epcot and a few people asked me about this on Instagram. So it is this, it's the Epcot Walt Disney World Passport and you can pick these up. A lot of people ask me where I can pick these up. So you can pick these up in any retail store in Epcot, in the countries, in World Showcase, anywhere. You can just pick them up at the front, literally pick them up anywhere and you can do this. You can fill out your details here, you can put all your info and put a picture of yourself. And then you literally, as you go around the world, take it to all the countries and you take it to the area which is like the kid cot area where they do the mask where the kids like um paint on their masks and stuff like that there'll always be like a cast member there to do this for you and it comes with stickers so you stick all your stickers in so this one's germany and they'll stick um a stamp on it they'll write what time you came and what date you came and then they'll write something in their language and they do tell you what it means so we did germany we did china we did norway I know that says welcome to Norway as well, Mexico. And I got her to say this and the accent she said this in was amazing. She sounded so good, but I can't remember what it says. Then we went to the United States, welcome to the USA, I can read that one. And then we went to Japan and then we went to Italy and then to Morocco, France, to the United Kingdom as well. And I love this, it says time of entry and she wrote tea time cute so english so the last one we went to was canada and she wrote bonjour welcome to canada home of hawaiian pizza really is it home of hawaiian pizza because i didn't know that but along with the sticker book and along with this you, you also get this pin button or as you call it in the uk it's a badge so it has mickey it says epcot and it's got all the flags of all the countries that are in epcot so you get this this and the stickers for 11.99 at the back you can write things about your trip and things about your day on there. The next thing I got was a keychain. This is the only keychain that I got. Normally I do get a few, but it is this one. And they had this one, they had a Mickey waffle one, a Mickey crispy treat one, and I think the other one was a Mickey bar. But I went for the pretzel because at the time I was buying a pretzel in Animal Kingdom and I did a cute picture with this and the actual pretzel and it looked really, really cool. But this is a red colour. These were $9.99. So red means $9.99. Kind of pricey. They're very big for keychains. But the only thing that annoyed me about this was when I bought this, it was peeling off, but I didn't realise. I'll show you up close so you can see what I mean. That's where it's peeling off there on the mouth area. 
and that area there. But hey, it still looks cute, you wouldn't be able to tell, and I absolutely love this. I was going to buy more, but who needs this many keychains for the Disney food? Me. So, while I was in Disney Springs, we went to Basin, and I've always walked past there, and I've never actually gone in, but it smells amazing if you walk past there, a little bit like Lush, and I'd seen these previously on Instagram, and I was like, I think I'm going to go buy them. And what did I do? I went and bought them, obviously. So this is what I got. I got the fresh soap and it's super cute because it's got Mickey heads in it. And this one was meant to smell like candy floss or, or it was candy floss. And it does smell like candy floss. It smells really sweet. This one was 6 dollars Yeah, this was the first one I got. And then I also picked up this one, which is a multicolored one. But I can't actually remember the flavor or the smell of this one. And it doesn't really smell of anything major, but I just thought it was super cute. This one was actually $5.71. Like, if you want to have a Disney house, then you've got to start a basin with the Disney soaps. Next, we have the pin collection. I've kept all these pins together. So, first pin I'm going to show you is this one, which is the boardwalk pin. And we went to the boardwalk this year. We go to the boardwalk most years because we go to the beach club, which has the beaches and cream soda shop where we get the little mini kitchen sink. Pin is also another resort pin, and it is the Polynesian resort pin. And I'd never been to the Polynesian before, so I thought I'd pick up a pin. And also this year we went to Boma at Animal Kingdom, but I didn't actually pick up an Animal Kingdom pin. But I picked up this one, and this is what it looks like. Next one is a Disney Parks collection pin, and... I looked to get in these pins last year and I didn't get one. I have all of the parks basically except for the Magic Kingdom. And this one's awesome because it's got Tinkerbell, it's got the castle and it's got a round background that you can spin round and it has the fireworks on. And I got one from Epcot this time which is for the Flower and Garden Festival 2018. I have the 2017 one and now I feel like I needed a 2018 one to just carry on the tradition. And this year it's quite big. And these are $14.99. These are obviously limited release. Once they're gone, they're gone. Or they'll be in the outlets in a few months' time. But this is what it looks like. It's got Mickey and Pluto on it. And it says Guaranteed Fresh 2018. I'm going to show you are actually from the Character Warehouse, which is the outlet stores that you can find at the outlets. And the first one is... Something else from Shanghai, it's the Shanghai Opening Disney Resort pin, and I got the Minnie Mouse one. These sold out super quick in here, anything that was Shanghai, people were going crazy for it, they were buying quite a lot of it, because I guess if you can't get to Shanghai and you can't get to Orlando, they will probably sell it on to people. So this is the one that I managed to pick up. Shanghai Disney Resort on it, and it says Grand Opening, it has the little castle and some diamonds. And this says limited release as well, but like I said, limited release, go to the outlets in a few months' time. And this one was 59 yen, so I don't know how much that is, but in America, it cost me 2 99 for this. And then the next one I got was from another festival that Epcot do, which they do at the beginning of the year, and it is called the Festival of Arts. And this is also limited release, which I obviously got in the outlets, and it's tiny, but this is what it looked like, it has figment on it. I picked up the character warehouse actually had like a whole tray of them they were in yellow and green and red as well it's quite small but I've never been to this festival and I would love to go so I just picked this one up as well because the price of this I think was like one dollar or 99 cents it was super super cheap oh yeah and I put this in one of my vlogs this is another pin but I did a pin trade so I took three pins that I didn't want and I wanted to trade them I ended up only trading one because I only saw one that I really liked and this was in the Polynesian I was in the store and I was like oh can I see your Contiki with the pins on so I had a look and I didn't really see any I liked and then the ladies were like we've got pins to share as well oh my god I found the best pin ever so I was watching Tim Tracker the other day which if you don't know Tim Tracker I'll leave his link below he's like my favorite Disney youtuber and he went pin trading in Disney Springs for the first time and found this pin and then I found it in Polynesian that is a pin that I found in the Polynesian and it says Walt Disney World surveyor markers 
and it has a little Mickey on the top, which is a hidden Mickey. I used to always look for the surveyor markers in Walt Disney World. Me and my friends used to talk about it and we used to always look for them and try and find them. They're really hard to find. And when I saw this pin, I just had to have it. It says it's two of five hidden Mickey pins and it says pin trading official pin trading from 2008 so this pin is essentially 10 years old so i have one more bag of goodies to show you before we finish i know this is like the longest video ever but when you buy stuff from Walt Disney World, I mean, it's hard to just get it down to a few things, as you know, because everything is so great. Oh my god, I forgot about these. These are adorable. Right, let me sneak them out. Right, so the first one I got was this. I mean, look. Look at his face. It's a candy apple, which just looks like a Mickey. And I don't know if these are, like, a specific type of, like, plush. I don't know if they're called a specific thing. I was picking them up in store and them was like, you're getting all the Disney snacks. And I was like, yeah, you know it, girl. So basically, I love the candy apples from Walt Disney World. So I picked this guy up. He was $14.99. I got him in the Disney Style Store. And then I also picked this guy up to go with him. Obviously, everyone loves a Mickey bar. And he's got the little bite in the top here, like the classic. He's got a little face. And on the back, he's got this. It says, I'm sweet. I didn't really, like, know why I got these. I just, like, fell in love. I thought they were so cute. I posted a picture of the whole collection on my Instagram because you can get Dole Whips, macaroons, like, pretzels. Like, you can get loads. This one was also $14.99. And they look like this. Jumper. Look at this jumper. Look at it. Oh, my God. This is what's on the back. And obviously, this is the new print that a lot of people had in California. They bought it to Walt Disney World. It says, Lake Buena Vista, Magic Kingdom, the 1st of October 1971, obviously when it opened. And it has all the parks. It has um, Magic Kingdom, and it has, like, this small world on there. It has the Jungle Cruise, it has the statues, it has Pirates, it has Splash Mountain, Dumbo, Space Mountain, the teacups. It has everything, and it also has, like, Epcot, Tower of Terror, uh, Maleficent... Um, what's that? The Paris bit of Epcot, um, the Tree of Life, Everest, it has everything on it. The trouble I went to to get this jumper, I checked everywhere. They only had it in a medium, which for me was too big, and large and extra extra large and large and large, all the larges, just no smalls, I needed a small. So I checked in Disney Springs, they didn't have it. I kept going back and being like, do you have it? Can you check for me? I checked in Epcot, they didn't have it. So one day we were just in Magic Kingdom. I checked in Main Street, by the way, didn't have it. Next time I went back to Main Street, they'd sold out completely. And I was like, I'm never gonna get this jumper. Then we went to the Storybook Circus because I was looking for that really cool popcorn bucket shaped like the balloons, which they don't do anymore, by the way, FYI. We went in the Storybook Circus just to see if there was anything cool in there. And my brother found this in a size small. You actually see it in one of my vlogs when I find it. Because I'm literally like, oh my god, I found it this small. So this was $50, I think. $49. I took the price off, so I don't know. But I'm obsessed. Oh, and another good thing about it. It says Walt Disney World down the side. Let me put my hand in it so you can see. It says Walt Disney World down the side here. Yeah. And it says, discover the magic at the bottom. I have it lastly for the clothing. I didn't might buy many things for clothes. I picked up a spirit jersey. But this is the one I picked up. The millennial pink spirit jersey. With the glittery pink. And it's written in the back in pink as well. In glitter. This guy was... $59.99 and I got this in an extra small. I own one already which you may have seen me wear before and that's in a small and it's huge. Uh, they are meant to be kind of oversized but like it's too big. I got it in an extra small this time and it fits really good. Originally I didn't actually want this colour so basically if you if you follow me on Twitter, I wrote about it on Twitter, I wanted the peachy rose gold one so it has the writing in gold glitter so it's obviously for the rose gold and on the last week I was like I really want it so I looked in Disney Springs and I looked in a few parks they didn't have it they only had large extra large don't even know if it had a medium so I couldn't get the rose gold anywhere I was in the airport I had it money left over and they had these in an extra small and I was just like I'm just gonna get the millennial pink one and just have another one so the last thing I'm gonna show you isn't from Walt Disney World but I'm not gonna do a haul of anything else that I got from Target so I'm gonna show you what I got from Target real quick and 
this is the bag I picked up. It's obviously got the Mickey on it and it's got the, the stripes on the back, but it is huge. I don't think it has a price on it, but I think it was $10. It's pretty big inside. It's like a cosmetic bag, a wash bag, whatever you want to use it for. And this is from the new junk food collection, I think, or just the new Disney Target collection. So as well as picking up this from Target, I also picked up these oh my god everyone's gone mad for these on instagram they are beautiful so and i found them in the kids section but they are kids ones so they're a bit small i couldn't find them in the adult section and it was like the day before i left and i was like i'm just gonna get the kids ones just gonna do it if i look silly i look silly but i just wanted them i needed them they have mickey mouse written around the edges and obviously they're just round and they're white and yeah these are from the kids section these were ten dollars the adult ones are fifteen dollars but they were sold out at the time who cares if they're kids i love them yes oh my god loving life hopefully this video hasn't been too long but you know when you buy a lot of stuff in Walt disney world it's going to take a long time to film and i've got other bits and bobs that i bought when i was out in disney like other things from like the outlets and stuff so i may do an outlet video of like designer brand things that i bought so anyways guys thank you for watching my haul i really hope you enjoyed it and that it's given you some like thoughts on what you want to get when you go to Walt disney world and if you have any questions about merchandise i saw like how much things were where i got things from leave me a comment below and i will get back to you so i hope you enjoyed this video guys and thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed then what are you waiting for if you love disney subscribe so i'll speak to you soon i'll be back with like the vlogs i'll be back with a lot of disney stuff and yeah if you want to catch me head over to my instagram stories because i'm always on there bye